Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Software Development with C++. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about the recursive use of CMake. So oftentimes with our projects, right, we want to separate out, um, you know, how we build different, say, executables and libraries. So for example, we may have a project where we build some sort of library, and then we build an executable that links against that library. Now, we don't necessarily want to have all of the source code in the same directory like we've seen in the past. We'd often like to separate it out into more logical components, right? Have all of our code related to the executable in one place and have all of our code related to the library in some place else. But how exactly do we do this in CMake? Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today with the somewhat familiar example here. So on the left hand side of the screen, I've got the uh, our example for today up and we have two different things that we're going to build here. So the first thing we're going to build is this math library, right? And this is just the same shared library that we've seen um, across a number of different videos here. So it just implements a few simple integer math operations here. So if we go ahead and look at you know the implementation of add.cpp and also of multiply.cpp, we see it's just a simple integer add and a simple integer multiply function here. And then we have function prototypes inside of these header files that we can include. Okay, so that's the shared library that we want to build here. Just a simple shared library with a few different math functions. Then we have our same executable that we've looked at for a number of different examples here. And that's going to be in this main.cpp file in a different directory here. Right? So this is just going to be our simple program where inside of our main function, we're going to use our add function and we're going to use our multiply function and we're going to print out uh, some results here using std c out, right? So we have an executable in one directory where we want to use a library that we built inside of a different directory. So let's go ahead and start off with how we set up these cmakelists.txt uh, files here. And we'll start with our math library that we want to build, right? We can just look at the cmakelists uh, file inside of that math directory. And we see that it looks somewhat like we've seen in the past here. So we express that we want to build a library using this add library command. So we say we want to add some library target here called math. We want it to be a shared library and it's going to be built out of this add.cpp and this multiply.cpp, right? Our two source files. And then we have this new option here, this target include directories, right? Where we pass this, pass this target math, we declare public, and we use this uh, built-in variable, this cmake current source steer. Now with our shared library like this, we have header files, right? For those uh, function prototypes, right? And we need to expose those to any say executables that want to use this library. And the way that we do that is through this target include directories here. So by adding this target include directories with public like this, we're saying that if we're going to, you know, link against this math library, right, when we're building some executable here, we're also going to need to include this directory, right? Because it contains things like these header files that we're going to need. So we express that with, with this target include directories option. Okay. So the other thing we have, right, inside of our nested CMake lists is going to be this main, uh, directory here, where we have another cmakelists.txt, right? And this one is pretty simple. Here we add an executable that we want to create. So we want to create some executable main from our source file main.cpp. And we specify we want to link against our other target here, right? That math library using this target link libraries. So here we're saying uh, to create this executable main here, right? We want this main target to link against math, right? That library that we're building inside of our other directory here. And because we included that directory there, we also need to include, uh, you know, the path to those header files as well, right? And we got that from that option inside of the math directory. Okay, so that's how we set up kind of our nested CMake lists uh, text files here. You see they're you know somewhat similar to what we've seen in the past. We just add targets uh, through things like add executable or, or add library right to build those targets. But how do we build everything you know from kind of the top level right from kind of our uh, our root directory here? And there we have a, another CMake list text file right in this root directory right. So here, let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see it starts off with how most of our cmakelist.txt files start off. We set our cmake minimum required version. So just 3.22.1, that's the version on my machine. And we just create a project called uh, recursive here. 
and then to specify the directories we want to recurse into, right? So we want to go into these directories and build those directories as well. We simply do add subdirectory here, right? And then we put a path to a subdirectory. So in this case, right, it's just the immediate next directory here, math, and the immediate next directory here, main here. And this will make it so that CMake will look inside of those directories for those additional CMake lists.txt files we have and build those directories as well here. Okay, so that's roughly how we set up our project here. So we have this top level CMake list.txt file where we add subdirectories that we want to recurse into, math and main in this case. And then inside of math and main, we have additional CMake list.txt files, which do things like add executables and add libraries. So let's go ahead and build our project here. So we'll go ahead and make a directory called build and we'll cd into that directory. And then we can go ahead and do cmake dot dot slash here uh, to go ahead and generate right our make files here. So you can see it, it, it builds our make files and you can see we have two directories in here, main and math, right? So we have our make files generated for main as well as our make files generated for math here. And then of course we can do cmake dash dash build with our current directory to go ahead and build um, you know, our project right? and actually run these make commands. So here you can see that it starts off with creating our library, this libmath.so, so it built our target math. And then you can see that it goes ahead and builds our executable main here. And everything worked just fine, right? We successfully linked against our shared library that we built inside of our other directory. And we were able to find those header files as well that main includes, right? That are in that other directory, right? Because we exposed them properly. So if we go ahead and go into say main here, you can see inside of main, we now have our executable called main that we can of course run, right? We print out that add function and also that multiply function or rather the results from those functions. And if we were to look into our math uh, subdirectory here, you can see that it built this libmath.so, this shared library that we wanted to make. Okay, so that's a little bit about the basics on how we can have uh, or do this recursive use of CMake here where we have say different subdirectories that we want to build and even use different things across these different subdirectories. Now, as always below the video, I'll make sure to link things like the CMake documentation for add subdirectory here. And as always, you can find this or any of my other examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick and I hope you have a nice day.